Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antics Arena. My name is Walter Neil, and today I'm going to do a, an in-depth test of gold. Now, I recently purchased a pocket watch, a protein card gold pocket watch in one of my haul videos, and then I've done a video where I broke it up and showed the value in the gold and done an acid test on it to show you how it worked. Well, I've had a lot of response from that video and people saying, can you give me an in-depth look at the acids? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use nine karat gold acid and the higher grade acids on different grades of gold. So you can see the different reactions on all the acids. So, for example, I'm going to put nine karat gold acid on 14 karat gold and 18 karat gold. You're going to see the reaction and vice versa. I'm going to put 18 karat gold on nine karat gold and you'll see what happens. And I'm also going to test base metal to show you. So it's going to be a really interesting video. Before I get started, just want to give myself a quick introduction. I'm a reseller in the United Kingdom. I buy and sell pretty much anything, but I try to stick to antiques, collectibles, jewelry, things like that. And I flip them for a profit. Up until recently, I did have an antique shop. Um, but now I'm going to be purely online. So I've been doing this for probably 20 years so I know all the tricks of the trade and lots and lots of experience now the test we're going to be using today is a simple carrot test I will put a link to this uh, stuff in the description and you can buy the test I think it's about 22 pounds something like that 23 pound it comes with a silver acid a 9 carat gold acid uh, a 14 to 18 carat gold acid a little file and a magnet so it is a good little set. Why does it come with a file and a magnet? Well, it comes with a magnet, first of all, before you test anything, the first thing you need to do is see if it's base metal. So you put on your magnet. Now, bear in mind, magnets do not stick to gold plate or silver plate, because most of the time it's on brass or copper. But it will stick to base metal, so it does limit that for you. The file is so if something's unmarked, you can give it a good scratch before you test because the surface will be gold or will be silver so um, for today's purpose we're looking at gold um, so you got to file into it making sure you file if you got a beautiful piece of jewelry that is nothing wrong with it, it's not scrap you don't want to be filing in the back of that and really damaging and losing money so you have to if if you have a piece that you don't want to damage you have to file very very small in an obscure area on the back or underneath or very, very, very small, and use an eyeglass for the testing. That's what the file is for, and I'm going to show you using that in a few moments. So, um, shall we get started on the test? Hopefully, you will um, enjoy. I'm going to take my face off now, and I'm going to go purely onto the testing area, just so you can see that. So I'll enlarge that for you so you can now see this. Now the first piece that we're going to do is this, which I've already tested up, is a base metal. Um, well, it's gold plated or rolled gold, if you like. So with your file, what you would simply do, if you can have a pick it up, is simply file it deep enough that you get through the silver plate. Obviously, as I've said, you wouldn't do that if you was uh, wanted something to sell on afterwards. This is purely scrap and purely exaggerated so I can get the best results to show you uh, on the camera. Now, starting off, we're going to use 9 karat gold acid, which is this one. And I'm going to test the 9 karat gold for you to see what this does. Now, before you use acid, guys, wear gloves. All right, I don't and never do wear gloves because it will burn your skin. Do you see that bubbling up green? Now, that instantly indicates that it is base metal. So, anytime you have anything gold unmarked, you give it a little scratch, and you put the 9 karat gold acid on it. Nice and simple, you saw the result, straight away comes up green. Now we've got the 14 and 24 karat acid. We're going to see what that does on the base metal. You 
you can buy sets with base metal tests in them. There you go. Nor is uh, well, pretty much next to no reaction on the uh, base metal with the higher carat. So you need to be testing with the 14 carat for that. So that's your gold plate, guys. Your 14 to 18 or 14 to 22 carat hasn't really found out the base metal. And the rest goes green. Now, I'm going to start off. This is 14 carat gold. It is stamped in the center 14K. Just there if you can see it. Yeah, probably not. But it is stamped just below my finger by there. 14 carat, 14K. It's an American pocket watch, or it was. So again, I'm going to scratch quite deep here. So you can see me scratching it. And I'm going to come over this side and scratch again. So we got two tests. First of all now, I'm going to test on the scratch with the 9 karat gold acid. And there should be zero reaction. Because the acid is a higher carat than the 9. Now, for the gold acid, the higher carat, you've got to actually count the seconds for the reaction. So depending on how many seconds it takes to start having some form of reaction, it tells you the carrot. You can already see now it's starting to react. There you go. That's starting to turn black. There is no reaction whatsoever with the uh, nine carat gold acid. And if you look in your book, there you go. The darkens up, it's 14 carat or 15 carat. Well, we know this is 14 carat. If it goes yellow, then it's a higher carat. And there we go. So we know that is 14 carat, but we knew that anyway. And that's the 9 carat acid there. It hasn't reacted whatsoever. And it has also left a burn. So now I've got some nine carat gold. I'm not going to scratch into this ring, guys. I, it is fully hallmarked, and I'm not going to destroy it. You can see it is beautiful amethyst and diamond. But I am going to test on it for you, just so that you can see. So we're going to start off with nine carat gold. Hopefully you can see there. Just a little drop of nine carat gold on there. This is not carrot gold. I'm going to check. Yeah, it's gone brown straight away. I don't know if you can see the color difference there. You got gold and brown. Can you see the two tones? That happened literally instantly. I think anyone else I can test a few. Right. Anyway, what I want to do now is I want to test the 14 carrot. See what reaction we get on the 14 carat we didn't have a lot of reaction on the nine we just went brown so 14 carat acid put it on and we're not really getting a reaction there we go it's not reacting whatsoever which tells us it's obviously not 14 to 22 And if I can, I'm going to do another dot. This is the nine carat acid again, guys. Hang on, sorry. So you've got the nine carat again. Right, so if you can see here how gold this is here compared to that being brown, I'm just going to put another tiny drop on by a few. This will clean off. There you go. You can see it going brown, instantly turning brown. 
no bubbling up green if you saw if you remember when you put on the nine carat acid on this bubbles up green to show you put it on this instantly goes brown look at that frothing up so you know this is nine carat gold there's no reaction on the higher carat and it's not bubbling up green now i've got an 18 carat ring i wish i had some larger pieces to test on <coughs> test on for you guys but i haven't so we're going to go this is 18 carat i'm using a nine carat acid You can see there, there is absolutely zero reaction. So if I turn it over and do this side, this is the 14 to 22 carat acid, 14 to 24. And again, as I've said, this one depends. You just got to count the seconds for the reaction. And this should go yellow. As we know, 14 and 15 carat goes brown and black. Higher carrots go yellow. Which is, I don't know if you can see it, but it is going yellow. Let's see if I put it on the paper, you might get it. Can you see that yellow there? If I put it on a picture, you can see there clearly yellow. And it has left a uh, stain, which a bit of brass will remove that. You can see there clearly the yellow. So it reacts yellow on the 18 carat, no reaction with the 9 carat. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells you a number of things. You can test gold, any gold, using 9 carat gold acid test. Um, what will that tell you? It will tell you if it's base metal, it will bubble up green. Nothing else needs matter. It will bubble up green, frothing and smelling. So you'll know if it's base metal or gold. The carrot of gold is irrelevant. You can test that when you get home, as long as you know it's gold. And then you put on your 14 to 24 carat, and you just look for the response. Brown, black, 14, 15 carat, yellow, 18 plus. And the way to work out the exact carrot, you've got to time the reaction. So the longer it takes for the reaction, the higher the carrot. So, hopefully, that will have answered your questions on what happens uh, when you're using different carrot acids on different carrots and on the base metals. So, hopefully, you found that interesting, guys, um, and hopefully helpful. The upshot is all you need to be carrying with you when you're out and about is this nine carrot acid. Test, you can test silver with this as well. I've done videos showing how to test silver with this nine carat. It's exactly the same. It bubbles up green for base metal or it'll burn white if it's silver. It actually burns white. So you can use this nine carat for silver or gold. And clearly, as you saw over there, just test away. Hopefully, you'll find that an interesting video. And hopefully, um, a few of you will be able to find some pieces on the boot sale and make a few pounds. Not all gold is hallmark, guys. Some of the marks have wore off. Some of it could be foreign, could be early antique gold, so or could be coinage if you just want to test. But if you're testing coins, be very careful you don't leave value. Um, I, I, I recommend you only test scrap coins if you're testing coins. So I'm going to leave it there. If you've enjoyed, I would appreciate the like and the share. Um, and remember to uh, subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.